swimmer has got into difficulty, but managed to make their way back to shore, only to collapse unconscious from their efforts. Two lifesavers on a roving patrol notice the person in difficulty walking from the surf. They approach with caution, checking the area for any obvious danger. We need to remove the patient from the water line. The patient is clearly too close to the water and needs to be moved prior to any further assessment. Okay, lowering on three. One, two, three. Lower. Lifesaver one now checks for a response. Checking for a response. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. While Lifesaver 2 sends for assistance using their radio to contact the patrol. Checking the airway. Please send assistance with DFib and ARTC. Over. Rover North, I have dispatched two Lifesavers to your location with DFib and Oxy. Patrol clear. The patient is now positioned on their back so that the Lifesaver can assess their condition. Using jaw support, the Lifesaver tilts the patient's head backward to gain a clear airway and then looks listens and feels for the breath of the patient and assesses whether there are any blockages to their airway. There appears to be a blockage with the airway. Rolling the patient. The patient is now rolled to the lateral position to remove the blockage. Clearing the airways. Airways are clear. Look, listen and feel for breathing. Patient's still not breathing. The second lifesaver is also now advising the patrol of the patient's status. We are commencing CPR over. Roger Rove North, Surfcom have been advised and ambulance dispatched. Patrol clear. The lifesaver now rolls the patient onto their back. Starting compression. Positions their hands in the centre of the patient's chest and commences CPR. Using their whole body weight to support their actions, the lifesaver compresses the patient's chest to one third of its depth. The correct compression point in CPR is vitally important. To obtain the correct compression point, visualise the centre of the patient's chest and compress there. Starting compression. Applying pressure from your shoulder straight through the heel of your hand and using the weight of your body to deliver the compressions will be easier and less tiring than trying to use your arm. The other hand is placed securely on top of the pad hand, with fingers and thumb secured around the wrist or your fingers interlocked. 26, 27, 28, 29. Patient regurgitating. Regurgitation is common during CPR. The lifesavers will roll the patient and clear the airway again. Rolling the patient back. One, two, three, roll. After clearing the airway, the lifesavers continue with CPR. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 15, After 30 compressions, Lifesaver 1 gives the patient two breaths via the mask. Lifesaver 2 then returns their hands to the chest to continue the next cycle of CPR. Once you have started CPR, you will need to continue until the patient recovers, that is, is breathing normally, or has been taken into the care of a doctor or ambulance personnel, or you are physically unable to continue, or an authorised person declares the patient deceased. When assistance arrives, the lifesavers continue with CPR while the equipment is prepared for use. They do not stop CPR until instructed by the defib operator to stand clear. Supplemental oxygen should be introduced without stopping CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 